Welcome back to Offroad Outlaws, guys, and in this video, we are going to be building this. Now, this is a fourth generation Chevrolet truck, or otherwise known as a GMC Sierra, and I honestly didn't really know all that much about, like, the in-depth uh, in depth information about this particular platform, so I went to Wikipedia and then realized that apparently... There was a 4.1 liter inline six that you could only get in the versions of these trucks that was made in Argentina, I want to say. Really r weird random fact, but I figured if I saw that fact and was scratching my head on it, I figured I would share that with you guys because that was a real head scratcher for me and I had no idea that it was ever sold with an engine like that. But then again, to be fair, maybe that's common knowledge for people that know these trucks, and that's that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the build of this truck, and I'm very excited to see what you can do with it. Now, I'm sure you could do monster suspension, I'm sure you could do crazy over-the-top add-ons, but in order to figure out what any of that stuff is, we have to go ahead and pick it up and jump into the build and actually see for ourselves. Now, as you can see, we have this, which is stock right now, then we have our XJ Crawler, we also have our giant Ford F450 dually mud truck. Now, with that being said and done, and having shown those to you, um, if you want to see the builds of either of those rigs, you can check them out on my channel. Now, we're going to go ahead and handle the upgrades right off the bat, because this thing needs to be fully built. We're going to go ahead and build it all the way out, so there's no worries whatsoever in terms of power, weight, grip, anything like that durability it'll all be done all of it out of the gate and i'm gonna actually put mm, i'm gonna put a supercharger a stage four supercharger on this truck because i feel like i do turbos on so many rigs that i might as well throw a supercharger on something now as far as tuning goes i do need to go ahead and swap out the suspension because i i want to do at least one monster version of this truck i I know that there are other versions of this truck that I would like to do, but I want to do at least one monster version before I do anything else. Now, obviously, the monster version is going to require some upgrading and some tuning, but we're going to max everything out to stage five so we don't have to worry about it. Now, I think with this one, I'm going to go probably to... I'll start at like 0.6 with the axis width, and if 0.6 isn't enough, we'll go from there. But let's see. I'm going to go back to the front and go for travel... And I'm going to throw the travel, I'm going to throw the travel at max be because you really, if you're doing a monster build on these trucks and you want to do like a full on true monster build, usually I recommend just trying to go to full height anyway. And I'm also going to give it a little bit of rear steering because that really, really helps with maneuverability. I mean, it helps so much. So I'm actually, while I'm here, I'm also going to up the shock size to like a 1.5, just because if you have giant tires and tiny little shocks, it tends to make things a little bit disproportional. So I'm going to go ahead and back out now, going to go ahead and go to the wheel and, wheel and tire package, build everything out, and wheel size, I'm going to, well... Let's say 1.3. Let's go 1.3 on the wheel size, because usually I leave it at 1. But I think on this one, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Wheel radius, I'm going to go for as much as I can get. And actually, that might mean that 1.3 is too much. But that means that all we have to do is go back and go back and fix it. So how does max width look on the tires? Let's see. Should we go max? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely wide enough. We could actually make it a little narrower if we wanted to. And that's the other thing is we don't really have to make it super wide if we want it to be, like, usable and workable. So I'm actually going to throw it on the dyno real quick. And let's see. Go ahead and grab the perfect setup and go ahead and give it a run. came out with 705 horsepower and 529 torque max, which isn't bad. I mean, for a, for a build like this with tires this big, that's not bad at all. Now, wheel and tire wise, I do have to, oh, that's not in this category. Oops. Yeah, that is not in this category at all. And I wonder if, hmm, hmm, I wonder if I lower the stiffness just a little bit. Just a little bit and make it a tad more flexible. It's like, what, 13.6? Yeah. 
I wonder if that'll make it a little bit better to drive. Just a little bit. I don't know, because sometimes I wonder if I make these trucks a little bit too stiff. I don't know. We'll find out. We will absolutely find out, because it'll, it'll either go really well or really badly. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into the customization now. Just throw a quick setup on this thing. We need to have... We need to have a good-looking set of wheels, though, and especially if they're going to be that big, because normally I don't make my wheels that big in this game, but this time they're a little bit bigger than I usually make them, so, ooh. Oh, that looks so mean. Hang on, then. If we, ugh, that's, no. Oh, God. That looks good, but, like, you can't see any of the detail on the wheels. I actually kind of dig the green. I don't know why. Maybe because it's different. Maybe because I don't see it very often. Uh, the red's kind of... No. That, like a like a tan, almost gives it like that weathered, like military wheel kind of look. I kind of dig it, actually. Go to these military wheels. Beadlock them. And go... Yeah. All right, let's go back now because I want to see... I feel like I could get behind it, honestly. Oh, come on. Yeah, I feel like I could get behind that. Depending, of course, upon what color we choose to paint the truck itself, um, I could probably get behind that color. So, and I love the fact that it's a long bed. I think the fact that it's a long bed is so cool. Oh, man. With the red, even with, like, the white or silver, that comes out looking pretty good. Even that, like, purplish blue, I really like it. I, I, I like it more than I thought I would, and that's... That's not what I was expecting to say. I, it's really not what I was expecting to say. I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. Now, because I have like a weird, I don't know, I have a weird relationship with these trucks. Like sometimes I see one that I like, and then sometimes I see one that I really don't like. And so I always go back and forth on whether or not I like them. And I think it just all depends on how they're set up to begin with. I am, honestly, I think I'm kind of feeling the red. Let's see how it looks in gloss. I could, work, I could work with the glossy paint. And I'm kind of feeling the red. I kind of like where we're going with this whole, like, dark, like, desert tan kind of setup on the wheels. And now, let's go and throw some tires on it. Should we make this a rear dually? We're going to, well, we're going to have to heavily adjust that setup. Uh, it's it's set up for non-dually right now, so I think that's what we're going to keep it as. Um, uh, Tire-wise... I really like these tires, and I really think they're super effective, but I use them on everything. But I use them on everything for a reason, so can you blame me? I feel like, uh, I feel like there's a reason why I use those on everything, because I really like how they perform. I need to do some body customization, because... Good lord, the camera doesn't like this truck for some reason. Front bumper-wise, we obviously have our general selection of Offroad Outlaws bumpers, and I think this time I'm actually gonna go with... Yeah, I'm going to go with that thing, just because I think it fits the old-school style of the truck. Now, fender-wise, we can do little fender extensions, bigger fender extensions, even bigger fender extensions, or cut fenders. And for the purposes of this truck, oh, you could go, you could go like, full-on dually tow rig with this thing if you wanted to, because you got the dually fenders there in the back. I kind of like these little extended arches. For whatever reason, I think they look kind of cool, even though they're a little bit pointless, considering how big our, our tires are. But I kind of want to throw them on there anyway, just literally just for the comedy factor of it. And then I look at it again and I go, no, that's goofy. I'm going to, oh God, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to go for the cut fenders, actually. Ooh, yes, I am totally down for that look in the back. Cage, running boards. Well, do we have any that look, yeah, that'll work. It's kind of a rock slider, kind of. Snorkel, eh, might as well. Horn, I'm not going to bother with. Windshield protection, front lighting. Eh, winch, absolutely, because that looks properly good. Oh, the jack is on the side. Why is that? That looks strange. All right, what about my exhaust? We could do a stack in the bed. We could do, oh, we could do stacks off the sides. Or we could do a single or dual I think I'm going to go with the dual setup out the hood. Just because it's so over the top and crazy that we might as well. Let's also go with white HIDs in the front end. And repair pack, I'm not going to worry about it. And we'll move on from there. So, with all that being said and done, let's apply it all. Take it out for a rip. And see what this thing is actually like to drive. Now, 
It's very wide. I can tell you right now, it's extremely wide, and I don't know if that's going to help us or hurt us. But I did make the suspension just a little bit softer, so I kind of want to see if it's like, uh-oh, loading trailer. Oh, God. What are we pulling? We're pulling anything? No. So it, well, I guess it wanted to tell us we were pulling a trailer or loading a trailer for no reason. That explains why it loaded so quick. So I wanted to bring it out here just to see, even though it is technically a monster truck, because we have the monster suspension, I wanted to see how it performed on the rocks. Because, oh, wow, you can see that suspension working, though. Oh, that's gonna suck. Wow, did that, like, not cause us any damage at all? Holy cow. Let's lock everything down and see how it does up the rocks. Now, I know that rock crawling is not the primary focus of a monster truck, but... Wow! Oh my god, that thing crawled right up that rock ledge. It didn't even think about it. Holy smokes, that's really good, actually. We might have built a dual-purpose monster truck that can rock crawl as well as do monster truck things. Let's see what it does over here, because this wall has been a bit of a nemesis to a lot of my rigs for a while. That was not the right line. But my god, the flex is insane. Oh, wow. The long wheelbase really helps it, though, because, oh my god, the long wheelbase is amazing, because once you get it to a point to where it can grab with the front axle, it just pulls the rear axle up with it. I mean, it's actually, it's actually a lot better at rock crawling than I feel like a monster truck has any right to be, but, I mean, even with that being said, it's a really good truck, and I like it a lot. I mean, so far... It's really outdone my expectations in terms of what I would expect out of it for rock crawling purposes. So, God, look at that thing. It's nuts. All right, let's go ahead and throw it in high. See how we're doing on damage. We're fine. Ramp it off at the top of that. It's not awful in mud. It chugs right through it. Absolutely chugs right through it. How is it in terms of speed? 60, 70, 80, oh my god, actually. And it absorbs the bumps pretty well. I say that as I tap the wall, but no, it's actually pretty easy to catch. And it does a really good job of absorbing the bumps. Oh man, that was a bit of a save. What trail is this? Oh god, it's a track. Oh no. Let's see what we can do. I know we're not going to get a great time, but let's see what we can do with it. Truck is quick. The four-wheel steer makes it pretty maneuverable and predictable. Handbrake! Oh, handbrake too late! Oh, well, we still got it, so it's okay. We can move on. Avoid the tree! Go, 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 go! Wow, a little bit of air control there. Probably not great. Oh, all right. I'll take it. Not bad. Let's see how it does up this rock hill over here, because this rock hill is no joke. Break, 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 break. Oh my god, break. All right, are you up to the task? find out. God, it's such a good looking truck. There are some times when I just want to like stop and just look at this thing. Ooh, it's having a little bit of trouble there. I think I'm being a little bit too heavy on the gas. Let me be a little bit more. Oh, geez. I gotta be a little bit more careful. God, the second you hit the brakes, or well, the second you go to go for reverse, it lurches back, so you gotta be really careful. I wonder if it's got enough torque to manage to do this in high. See if I can control that application of torque a little bit better. I 
mean, not quite. Not quite, but I feel like if you if you worked at it on this hill for a good while, you could totally do it. Right there is where it starts to give up. It's like a very specific spot. It's about halfway up the hill, and it it's like it's fine until you get to that point, and it's like it, it's like the angle is just too sharp for it at that point. It's a great truck though, still, not to take anything at all away. Oh my god! Well then. Not sure how I feel about that one, but if you guys enjoyed this build in Off-Road Outlaws, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you built one of these trucks and what you think of it. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Off-Road Outlaws and SnowRunner content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.